Imagine for a minute that he is standing in the middle of a clock face with 12 above his head, nine off to his right hand side, three over here, six down here and so forth. Now when he swings back, you're gonna see the arms not race to a full turn, you'll see them somewhere work into about this 11 o'clock area. So again, with the big white arms, he starts back, there's no club face manipulation, and he just allows himself to turn around the center of this clock face. There's nine o'clock, arms extended. Now all the way up to the cross where he stops. Again, this is no stretching. This is no trying to hit the wedge really far. This is about precision. So you see the arms out to his side there. That's gorgeous. He's not trying to hit this wedge far. He's looking for quality contact and speed control. Now from there, it's gonna be very easy to get the arms back down to the six o'clock area, right back in front of his body. Low body leads, arms all the way down, bang. Look at that, arms in front of the body, left arm firm down that left side. Once again, this is a model. Now as he swings through, you will see the arms swing a little farther through, but again, he's not trying to over accelerate here. That follow through that's longer than 12 o'clock, it's not because he's tried to get there, it's because the velocity, the momentum of the club has carried him through, but very importantly, carried him through to a balanced follow through. 